And now from TreasureIslandOldies.com, here's the rock and roll news for the week of June 23rd as we do the show Seaside for the Summer Beach Party. This week in 1972, Smokey Robinson appeared in concert with the Miracles for the last time, and the concert was held held in Washington, D.C. In 1963, Del Shannon charted with the song From Me to You, the very first John Lennon and Paul McCartney composition to make the Billboard Hot 100. Paul Anka, at the young age of 20 years old, became the youngest performer ever at that time to perform at the Copacabana nightclub in New York City this week in 1960. The final Beatles World Tour began in Munich this week in 66. Same year, the the, the Richard Carpenter Trio, along with Karen on drums, won the Battle of the Bands contest at the Hollywood Bowl. John Lennon's book, A Spaniard in the Works, was published in 65. The Beatles premiered the song All You Need Is Love this week in 1967 to over 400 million people on a worldwide TV show. Elvis held his last concert in Indianapolis, Indiana this week in 77. John and Paul wrote She Loves You in a hotel room in Newcastle, England while they were on tour there this week in 1963. The Rolling Stones released It's All Over Now this week in 1964. Tom Jones received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1989. New York's Fillmore East Concert Hall closed in 1971. The group Smile changed their name to Queen and held their very first show under that name this week in 1970. In 2007, Jimmy Rogers had brain surgery in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and doctors discovered that his skull had miraculously regenerated as a result of a very serious accident and beating early, several years earlier. Aretha Franklin appeared on the cover of Time magazine this week in 1968. In 1965, DJ Murray the K's TV special, It's What's Happening, Baby, aired along with The Drifters, The Dave Clark Five, Tom Jones, Gary Lewis, The Supremes, and many other stars. Denny Doherty's autobiographical musical, Dream a Little Dream. The almost true story of the Mamas and Papas had its premiere in Toronto this week in 2001. In 1967, Graham Nash wrote Marrakesh Express while on tour with the Hollies in Yugoslavia, but he did not record it with them. He later recorded it with Crosby, Stills and Nash. In 1987 this week, Alice Cooper fell off a stage here in Vancouver and broke six ribs. The wrecking crew of Los Angeles studio musicians was inducted into the Hollywood Rock Walk this week in 2008. In the studio, Aretha Franklin recorded Chain of Fools in 67. B.W. Stevenson recorded My Maria in 1973. Eddie Cochran cut something else in 59. Elvis recorded If I Can Dream in 68. The Supremes cut Love is Like an Itching in My Heart this week in 1966. In 1970, uh, 1970, Daryl Hall and John Oates recorded for the first time together as Whole Oates. Sly and the Family Stone recorded a song we'll hear this week on the Summer Beach Party on Treasure Island Oldies Hot Fun in the Summertime. And that session took place in 1969, as did the Hollies, who recorded He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother with Elton John playing piano. Elvis recorded his latest Flame and Little Sister in 61, also in 1961. Roy Orbison recorded Candyman. The Drifters cut up on the roof in 62. Buddy Holly recorded Peggy Sue in 1957. And Johnny Ray recorded Just Walking in the Rain in 1956. Birthdays for you, Stu Sutcliffe, one-time member of the Beatles, born this week in 1940. June Carter Cash, born in 1929. Jeff Beck from the Yardbirds is 69, Arthur Brown, 71, Nick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mag turned 66. Lead singer from the Zombies, Colin Blunstone, is 68, as is Carly Simon. Eddie Floyd turned 78, Billy Davis Jr. from the Fifth Dimension is 72, Georgie Fame is 69, Colonel Tom Parker, Elvis's manager, born in Holland, this week in 1910. Bruce Johnson from the Beach Boys turned 68. Doc Palmas, who was a songwriter who wrote A Teenager in Love, Say the Last Dance for Me, Suspicion, and many others, born this week in 1925. Kathy Carr was born in 36. Little Eva, born in 1945. Leonard Lee from Shirley and Lee was born in 1935. 
Billy Henshee from Dino, Desi, and Billy is 59. And songwriter L. Russell Brown, who wrote Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree. I woke up and loved this when love this morning. Come on, Marianne and so many others. He's 73. And from Treasure Island Oldies.com, that's your rock and roll news for the week of June 23rd. Come to the Treasure Island Oldies blog for all the late breaking news. And to hear the entire Treasure Island Oldies Summer Beach Party, come to TreasureIslandOldies.com, click Listen and Archives. Thanks for listening. I'm Michael Godin. Treasure Island Oldies.